A question, a question from a, a patient uh, uh, on on uh, on Facebook the other day. Uh, they were they mentioned they, they wanted to know what is the time frame before you start seeing good uh, with corneal molding or ortho okay. Well, my answer to that is two hours. Really, uh, you're going to think that I am kidding. Uh, that this doctor is crazy. Well, in reality, it all depends on how much we're corrected. Meaning, uh, if you are uh, if you are to the uh, to the doctor's mild, the uh, we put you on the molds. You close your eyes. Once we have designed them and everything, of course, two hours later, you open your eyes, and ninety percent of the time, you're going to see twenty twenty five or better. Uh, regardless. It all ranges between one night and three nights to see your full your full potential, and that's for the most part. Of course, there are patients that are more difficult, uh, that are better candidates than others. But the whole bulk of the uh, candidates here, or the patients that are candidates for this procedure, will see well, very very well, the next day. Meaning, the next day they won't need glasses for sure. They might not see perfect. They might not see the best they can see yet because their prescription is in minus six, let's say. So it will take up to two, three nights to, to fully correct it, correct it. But it's certainly going to be as good as it can probably even drive legally. That means C2040 or better. Um, and again, so for, it takes one night to see clear. If you're a minus three, a minus four, um, if you're a little higher prescription, it might take a little longer. But if you're a minus six or a minus seven, you're already incurring into that. You're uh, you're going to depend on having a very thick cornea in order to to have the other alternative, with it, which is LASIK. You can only do LASIK if your cornea is thick enough, so they can correct so much. And once you go over six diopters, it becomes very, very, very uh, uh, a very risky operation because uh, you know they have to. Uh, shave off part of the cornea. How thin can you go? Well, you cannot go thinner than a certain amount, uh, whether it is 350 microns, 400 microns. So certainly, cornea molding becomes the perfect solution or definitely the most viable alternative because we are not destroying tissue. We're just redistributing it. And um, so there are no risks involved, involved in terms of uh, corneal physiology or corneal structure. 